What's up, divas? What's up, Devo? So y'all already know it's Real Talk Wednesday. I hope you guys, let me just say this real quick because it's still Monday on this side of the world. Like, you know, I always record on Mondays. But if I am late to anyone, happy belated Mother's Day, even though every day is Mother's Day. Look, every day is Mother's Day, but happy belated Mother's Day to everyone. And I hope you all had like an amazing uh, Mother's Day. I, for one, had a really great Mother's Day. Um, I'm going to just be honest. Um, it was kind of... In, in the beginning, not even in the beginning, it was a little hard for me to deal with, you know, with my son not being here. But, you know, I got through it, and I really had a great Mother's Day. It started for me really on Wednesday, prior to Mother's Day, because my daughter, Nay, um, and y'all seen her on my channel, she um, gave me, like, this huge surprise. So every day from Wednesday up until Mother's Day, I got a gift in the mail. Like, she, she, had, she had this all set out and planned. So I got something every single day up until the day of Mother's Day, which was so cool. Even on Mother's Day, I got a bouquet of flowers just sitting right outside of my door waiting for me. So the first day I got like this really pretty wreath. It's uh, like a heart shape. I got that. And it's, um, it's, it's faux flowers, it's colors of like peach, white, and pink, like a cream color. So pretty. And I implemented it in my videos. So you will see it. You'll definitely see it in this video. Cause I'm going to show you a promo. I also have it in like my backdrop in my back area. The next day I got a, um, box of chocolate truffles delivered. And unfortunately FedEx um, I do understand there's no contact for deliveries, but you can at least ring the doorbell not to sit my package outside in the Arizona sun so it can melt my goddamn box of chocolates. The box of chocolates melted. They didn't even ring the doorbell, and they just had it sitting outside, which really, you know, melted all my chocolates, but it's okay. The third day, I had got a box of chocolate-covered strawberries. That was all in, like, a, a, container, a contained box with ice and everything, so even though that still, they didn't ring the doorbell for that either. But thank goodness my daughter Tati came over really early and she just so had to mention that they were boxed. Then the fourth day, I got a real plant. The fifth day, which was Mother's Day, I did get a um, bouquet of flowers. Like I never had anybody give me a gift every day up until Mother's Day. And it was so thoughtful and so loving. And she also took me and my daughter, Mumsy, it was just us three girls, out to dinner. And we went to Longhorn Steakhouse. I love Longhorn Steakhouse. That is like one of my favorite places now. Thanks to my daughter, Tati, she put me onto that place. So I love Longhorn Steakhouse. So if you guys have a Longhorn Steakhouse out in your area, let me know what you think. Or if you do and you haven't tried it, girl, go and try it. Get the ribeye steak, medium rare, extra juices with the oh, um, loaded baked potato and mashed potatoes. Girl, mmm. Delicious. I also got from my daughter-in-law, she got me some Prada. I think it's called Prada Club Perfume. Girl, that perfume smells so good. I'm still smelling it. Unique blend. It's not floral scented. It just smells so good, and I love it. My son, he, have, um, he got me a bouquet of flowers. He knows I love socks, so he got me like this Nickelodeon old school co um, collection edition of socks. He got me three candles for Bath and Body Works, shower gel, lotion, and um, the body spray. And he got me a box wine because, look, I'm cheap. I drink. I, I like box wine, okay? And my daughter Tati, she got me this really pretty balloon, and it has a rose inside of it, and it lights up. Oh my God, I love that too. I love everything that I got. And my other daughter-in-law, Michaela, which was my son Wuzzle's girlfriend, she got me some chocolate covered strawberries too. So I had like an amazing Mother's Day. Um, it didn't even have anything to do with the gifts. I got many text messages from my son Wuzzle's friends, you know, and it just, it was a really good day for me. Even though, you know, a lot of it, I, I just missed a part, a portion of my, my life. Like my son wasn't here and, you know, that was hard for me to deal with. It was really hard. But, you know, I did get through it. I, I got through it. And um, I just enjoyed my kids a lot. And actually, a girl got dressed up. Like, seriously, you guys, when you see me, I have on a T-shirt all the time. I have, like, a graphic tee on. When I go outside every day, everyday life, I have on a graphic T-shirt, my favorite Walmart shorts that I've been told y'all about. 
or like my other kind of favorite Walmart shorts. I don't really get dressed up because I don't really go anywhere. I don't wear makeup every day. I don't. The most that I wear makeup is when I'm doing like a wig video. Other than that, I'm not putting makeup on like, for one, I just don't like all that stuff on my face every day, all day. Like I can't do it. So I did get dressed up yesterday. I got this really cute dress from Kohl's and I'm not like the biggest fan of Kohl's. Certain Kohl's will accept Amazon returns. So, you know, I had to bring something back and you get your money back right away when you return it to Kohl's or like certain other places. So when you return stuff to Kohl's from Amazon, they always give you a 25% off coupon for anything in the store, except for like the real name brand, name brand things like uh, Ralph Lauren or Nike. So you can use it on stuff that's even on sale. So I got this really cute Nine West dress and it was $40, but it was on sale for $29 and then an additional 25% off. So I wore that for Mother's Day mm -hmm. and I just put on my um my first wigs headband wig, girl, the one that y'all didn't see me wearing um quite frequently. I wore that and I had a great time with my daughters and some sandals and I even painted my toenails, okay? So I hope you all had a great day. It's not even about gifts, it's about family. I enjoyed my family so much. I just had some really good times with them yesterday. So with that being said, I hope you all also had a great Mother's Day. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get into this real talk, okay? Before we even get into this, you know I'm going to throw in a promo, but I have to share this with you guys because, look, I know y'all I know y'all bitches be cheap, too. Y'all got to be cheap. If y'all watching me, I'm cheap. We all cheap. We are frugal. Who don't like to save a little money and be cute? So listen, you see these earrings? Girl, do I need to take them off and show you the diamonds in them? The, the faux diamonds, okay? And believe it or not, Believe it or not, I'm walking on it. I no, seriously, believe it or not, these were only a dollar, as well as these right here, hunties. Okay, so let me show you where you can get some really cute accessories, amongst other things, like these lashes, as well as other things for a dollar. You know, I always rocks with this company, and I actually never showed other items besides makeup but they do have so many other nice items for a dollar that you would not believe so check this promo out and then we're gonna jump right into this real talk well you had me from the start by the way you stared the way you wrote upon me yeah yeah man i felt your energy wasn't used to being loved and treated differently, yeah. But something went wrong, the signals got crossed, and now we're on completely different pages. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow. You're trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow. Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe Baby, don't you, baby, don't you Baby, don't you switch up the vibe Baby, don't you, baby, don't you Baby, don't you switch up the vibe Boy, you take me on a trip Always up and down and back and forth in merry go round. I just wanna get it right. But when you go left, I'm stuck here feeling left behind. Cause something went wrong, the signals got crossed. And now we're going different directions. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there. You stress the flow. You're trying to pick the face up. We should take it slow. Baby, keep your focus. Don't you make me change my mind. You already know the deal about Real Talk. If you got a Real Talk issue, you know, you need some advice, some talking to, uh, you can always send me an email to aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. I'll make sure to put it down below for you girls. Um, and yeah, just send me a Real Talk email. I'd be more than obliged to come through and we can chop it up. 
You can always change your name in the email. So if your name is Gabby, but you want to be called Abby, make sure you let me know. You can call me such and such in the video. But if you don't, I'm definitely going to change it anyway. So on that note, mm -hmm. and oh, put in the subject line, Real Talk. You really don't have to because this email, though, is strictly to the Real Talk gang gang. So hashtag Real Talk gang in this video. We're going to start doing some different things. You know what I'm saying? But let's just get into it. Hi, April. I'm all loud. Hi, April. Wanted to get your opinion on a situation. I love your channel, by the way, especially all the Dollar Tree hauls. You can call me Kelly and call my longtime boyfriend, Jason. We are 37 and 38, but met when he was 22 and I was 21. Jason and I have been together for 15 years and we have two kids. When we met, he used to say his family members thought he was gay because besides me, he only had one other girlfriend. I never really thought much of it because before him, I didn't date much either because I was busy with college. We were in a long distance relationship for the first two years of our relationship. Then he moved to my state. He used to visit me every few months before he moved with me, and the sex was great. Normal sex, LOL. When he moved, oh, when he moved to be with me, <laughs> normal sex, wait. When he moved to be with me, things changed. He started asking for anal sex, almost begging me to do it, and getting mad because I didn't want to do it. Okay. After a year of us living together, I gave in and we did anal sex. That was a very long time ago, maybe 10 years ago. Fast forward to present. About six months ago, he started asking for anal again, begging me every chance he got. I hated it the first time and it hurt so bad. So I never wanted to do it again. He has made comments over the years about anal, but we never did it again until recently. I would say for the last six months, we have been doing anal about once a week. And I still hate it as much as I did the first time. But he absolutely loves it. To be honest, I think he prefers that over vaginal. And I am getting very concerned. It makes me wonder if he is gay. I mean, I know straight men like anal sometimes, but he gets mad at me for not doing it. He totally disregards my feelings about it and doesn't seem to care that it hurts me. It's like anal is some kind of fetish or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold up. It's like... It's like anal is some kind of fetish or something for him. I am just tired of hearing about it, and I definitely don't want to do it anymore. I feel like since he likes anal so much, maybe he should be with a man. Also, I don't know if this is relevant, but all of a sudden, he wears tighter clothes and big diamond stud earrings. It's like his appearance is changing, and he never wore things like that before. He says a lot of things about gay men, like he thinks they are a lot of... Wait, what? He says lots of things about gay men, like he thinks there's a lot of gay men at his job. Just very odd things about other men. He said my brother wasn't a bad looking guy once before. It's just weirding me out now, especially after hearing your real talk about the husband leaving his wife for another man. I feel like he keeps hanging on because I'm his cover up or something. After 15 years and several rings, still no marriage. Maybe I am being you so no one thinks he's gay. Please give me your thoughts on this. Thank you. Okay. Wow. All right, then. Who's out on that? Kelly been with this dude, Jason, for 15 years since she was 21 and he was 22. She is now 37 and he is 38. They got two children together. His family started saying that he was gay because he only had one girlfriend prior to her, but she didn't really think much of it because she was too busy with school herself and wasn't dating that much. And I get that. You, you busy trying to get a career. Now, they've been together for that long, but here's the kicker. They ain't never been married. They ain't never been married. Like, they ain't never been married. They ain't married. They not even engaged. I don't even know. She said several rings, several rings, and still never married. So how many motherfucking rings did this nigga give you, girl? Did you start tossing them at his ass? Ten years prior to this email, she let him 
do it to her in the booty um, because he was asking for it and begging for it. And now, 10 years later, now they're up to doing it weekly. But she don't want to do it. It hurts. And she, he's he's disregarding her feelings, getting mad because she don't want him to stick. You know what I'm saying? Just get mad because she don't want to do anal with him. First of all, here's my thing. Let, let's just get this out the, the way. First of all, how are you going to get mad with somebody because they don't want you fucking them in their ass. Like, I'm sorry, ladies. I had to say it like that, but how you as a person gonna get mad because somebody don't want you to be sticking it to them in their butt? Like, let, let's be honest here. To each his own. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. That's your business. I'm not here to judge nobody, but we're not about to sit here and get an attitude, a whole fucking attitude. You're about to get big mad because somebody don't want you because you, yeah, because your dick is not supposed to be somewhere where it's not supposed to be. Here's my thing. This is what you need to tell him, girl, listen. This is what you need to tell him. If you let me do it to you first, then you can do it to me. I'm, I'm just saying, like, I bet you his ass will shut up. And if he don't shut up and he, if he be like, okay, then, girl, his ass is gay, okay? If he be like, okay, then his ass is gay. Nothing wrong with being gay. But... First of all, a grown-ass man don't need to be begging for no booty hole, no cootie hole, no oral sex, no no nothing type of sex. You a grown-ass man. She not a porn star. Kelly is not a, right as, is that's what I'm supposed to be calling her? Kelly. Kelly ain't no porn star, Jason. Like, I'd be damned if a nigga started begging me for booty. I'm not even gonna think he's gay. You know, I, I, I really, honestly, I really wouldn't know what to think if a man started asking me for anal. Like, I... I probably would just look at you like you out your fucking mind. Like, you better go watch a TV program. You better go watch a porno or something and pretend. How about this? You pretend like it's a booty hole. You catch an attitude and you get big mad. If you get mad with me because I won't let you fuck me in my ass, then we have definite issues here. I'm not I'm not even going to get big mad. I'm not even going to get upset that you mad that I won't let you stick it to me where the sun don't shine. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not because I'm going to look at you and I'm going to laugh and I'm going to be like, all right, dude, bye, peace out. I'm going to give a damn how long we've been together. You're going to get mad because a woman won't let you stick them where the sun don't shine. First of all, that's really immature and really childish. And second of all, what grown-ass mature man gets upset because a woman don't want to have sex with them? Whether it be oral sex, pussy sex, anal sex. You don't get mad because a woman don't want to give you their good. For one, like I said, he want to keep begging you, talking about, well, um, can we do anal? Sure, we can do it. First, first, let me do it to you, and then you could do it to me. That's how we can get, to, get it done. And if the dude be like, okay, then the nigga is gay, okay? For one, let me tell you something, Kelly. There's no way on God's green earth am I going to lower my standard and go and do anything against my own free will just to please somebody else. I don't give a damn what it is. I don't care if it's anal. I don't care if it's robbing a bank. I don't care if it's carjacking. I don't care if it's stealing out of Walmart. I don't care. I am not going to get, I'm not going to go against what I believe in as a person to please another person. After being with someone for 15 years, I would think by now that you would be married, okay? Fuck the engagement. I would think by now that the nigga would marry you, okay? Make an honest woman of you. Make an honest man of himself. However, maybe she does have a point. Maybe he is gay, and maybe she is his cover-up. Because 15 years is a very long time to be with anyone. And now for you to make all these type of remarks about, oh, you think some of the men at your job are gay? Well, why would you think that? What, what makes you think that they're gay? Are you having conversation with them about being gay? Are you having conversation with them about dating other men? How would you know that these other men are gay unless they are flamboyant or outright say, yeah, yeah, I'm gay, okay? Like I said, there's nothing wrong with being gay, but there comes a time in our lives when we have to come out the closet about whatever we're hiding. Let's 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 be for real about that. Let's be human beings. Let's 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 regard the other person's feelings. You know what I'm saying? So now he's not only talking about men at his job that are gay or are proudly gay or he feels like are gay, but he's also changing up his whole entire appearance, wearing big studded diamond earrings or big studded earrings and tight pants. I'm an old school girl, and I know that that some men do like to wear fitting pants, tight pants. Is that the fashion trend right now? 
<laughs> but I'm gonna just just be real with you guys. I'm gonna just be real. I if I if I was approached by a man and he had on some skinny jeans, girl, I would look the other way. And it has nothing to do with his sexual preference. It would just make me feel like, nigga, you got on your sister's cho- your, your sister's jeans, your mother's jeans, your girlfriend's pants. Who clothes you got on? I just really don't think like men should be wearing really skinny jeans. I, it doesn't it doesn't attract me. I don't think it's attractive at all. But you know, to each his own. That's my preference. So if a man approached me with some skinny jeans on, I'm looking at him and I'm looking the other way and I'm walking off. Like, over here in this department, we don't do the skinny jeans, okay? And you could be manly, man. You could be masculine and all that. I just ain't with men wearing tight jeans. It's not cool with me. And the big study earrings, girl, listen, he's 38 years old. Ain't he too old for that shit? Like, I'm just saying. He too old for that. That's what the teeny bopper boys be doing. The young men, like, 20 years old and under. Like, who does that? Why are you walking around with some big studded earrings? You look like a whole clown. You're 38 years old. Let's dress age appropriate. I'm not saying you got to dress like you about to be, like you about to be buried in a casket. But what I'm trying to say is let's dress mature, especially if you're going to work. You're a grown-ass man. You got two kids, and you walk around with some tight-ass jeans. Okay, if men could get yeast infections, because some of these men I do see out here with these skinny jeans on, if they can get balls infections by yeast infection, then they would probably have them. I don't think any man in tight ass skinny jeans is attractive. I don't give a fuck how masculine he is. I don't give a damn if he fucked a hundred and something bitches in the world. That is not attractive at all. At all. Okay? No man wearing skinny jeans is attractive to me. I mean, I see the young men wearing them. And I don't even think that's cute. I mean, it's cute because... It might be cute because they're younger. But I don't even look at it like that. You know, I just look at... Oh, they got a little skinny jeans on. Okay. I can't even look at them any other way because they are, like, in their young 20s or teenagers. So you, you're definitely not going to look at them like that, okay? Unless you're a cool girl looking for young men, and I'm definitely not that. But when I see men that are my age... I have seen a couple that had some skinny jeans on. Like, girl, I've seen a couple out and about. Like, you got your girlfriend jeans on? Seen some men out in public. They had, I I knew this was your girlfriend's jeans. Listen, I've seen quite a few times. Some jeans, some skinny jeans was tight as fuck, okay? Like, how was you breathing? Is your balls okay? You ain't gonna be able to have no kids. Your sperm count will be real motherfucking low. You gonna have erectile dysfunction. Are you all right down there? I know it's probably sweaty. I'm just saying, like, men with really tight jeans are not cool. That's a no. That's a no-no. Jeans, it don't matter how fit you are. You shouldn't even be wearing those. How'd you get them on? Did you use some Vaseline? Baby oiled it up, right? Rub-a-dub-dub. Them shit was like ball bangers. You just... You, you, does he not want to have any more children with you? Is he trying to suffocate his balls? If his jeans is that tight, where's his balls at? Is he is he tucking them? If he's tucking them, girl, he just might be on the side. I, I'm just saying, listen, let me tell you something, sister girl, Kelly Cal. Don't make yourself ever feel uncomfortable, discomfort, hurt, in pain to make somebody else happy. You understand what I'm saying? That That's a no-no. I, I don't care if it was anal sex, if it was Bonnie and Clyde sex, if it was knocking on the door sex, if it was three-way sex. You don't never go out your way to do something for someone that will make you feel like this of a person or your asshole hurt all day, all night. Like, no. Yeah, no. If you're not a professional at doing anal sex, I, I would just I would expect you to just leave it the fuck alone. You know what I'm saying? Like there are some things out there that you can use to make yourself feel comfortable while doing these things. But if you don't want to do them and you don't feel comfortable, there's no reason why you should stoop down just to make somebody else happy. Kelly, what has Jason done to make you feel comfortable? What has he made you feel good? Since he's so good and so busy begging you to have anal sex with him, and now you're doing it once a week, girl. So you do it once a week because your ass is probably healing for the rest of the week, right? I'm just saying. Nah, no, 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 no. He wouldn't get no booty. He wouldn't get no cootie. He wouldn't get no mouthy. He wouldn't get nothing. That nigga wouldn't even get the time of day for me. I wouldn't even look your way. Dude, you sleeping on the couch? You didn't even put a ring on it. Are you serious? You put a ring on it, several of them, but we still didn't walk down the motherfucking aisle. Girl, listen. First of all, I can't even believe that I read this. I almost turned flush red. I mean, like, yeah, we all know about anal sex, and I'm pretty sure some of us have done it. I'm not about to sit here and do that shit once a week. You crazy? I don't give a damn how much you love that motherfucker. He ain't loving you enough. 
to be begging you and getting mad. You get big mad because you, because somebody don't want you to have sex with them and they asshole and he really loves it. Let me tell you something. When men get mad, when men get big mad, I call them bitches, okay? Especially when they get mad over petty shit like this. And it's not even petty. This is not even petty. You know what I'm saying? This has to do about being a human being and self-worth, okay? And, like, I'm not saying don't have sex with a man, but here's the say. I'm, I'm saying if it doesn't make you feel comfortable, why would you do something that doesn't make you feel comfortable? Fuck having kids with him. Fuck having 15 years with him. He ain't marry you. And even if he did marry you, what makes it okay to have anal sex with him because you don't want to? Like, that doesn't make it okay. It doesn't make it right. Just because you've been with somebody for so long, it doesn't make what they want okay if you don't want that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, there's no way I'm going to walk around with my asshole burning just to please somebody else. No. Hell to the fucking no. You know what I'm saying? And like, I could be on some real shit right now and be like, well, you know what? The next time he try to stick it in, shit on his ass. I could just say that. And I know that's disgusting, but like, then I bet you his ass will never, ever, ever ask you to have anal sex again. But then again, who knows? Okay. But there's preparation in that. You can't just let somebody just start sticking it to you in your booty. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to not eat for hours. You got to clean your booty hole out. Like, listen, I I don't even want to get into that, but I'm just saying like, you don't lower your self-esteem and your self-worth for no fucking body. I don't give a fuck what it, it intends to. Like I said, I don't care if you be like, well, look, I'm going to get mad if you don't rob Walmart. I'm going to get mad if you don't steal from Walmart. I'm going to get mad if you don't do this. I'm going to get mad if you don't run this red light. Listen, You'll never lower yourself to make somebody else feel happy and to make them feel good. Because what is he doing to make you feel good? He get mad because you don't want to spread your cheeks, like literally spread your motherfucking cheeks for him. Like, come on. What type of shit is that? That's not love. He's selfish and he's greedy and he's just childish, okay? And honestly, you've been together for 15 years and he has yet to marry you, but he still wants to stick it to you where the sun don't shine. I would stick it to him where the sun don't shine and tell him, adios, amigos, we're not doing this no more. And if you don't like it, then I don't know what to tell you okay but we definitely won't do this and if you don't like that we won't be doing much of nothing at all straight up like that i'm not trying to be in people's business because i try to mind mine to keep to myself you know what i'm saying how you want to have sex is your business i you know what i'm saying if you like it bitch i love it but first of all she don't even like it let alone love the shit jason love it the next time that nigga ask you be like okay but if you only the only way we're gonna do this this weekend is if you let me do it to you first and if he be like mad and, and get mad be like all right then that's how i feel okay and then if he don't get mad he be with it girl like this was a lot did kelly's boyfriend did he really say that her her brother is good looking i mean i can't really I can't really say anything wrong with that because it all depends on the conversation that they were having. She didn't say what type of conversation they was having. But he is also kind of like family because he's been with her for 15 years. So, you know, it's kind of like his brother too, somewhat, even though they're not, you know, legally married. They're, you know, they've been together for 15 years. So it's kind of like they've been together for 15 years. So you know what I'm saying? saying? So it's, it's not him. It's not really him being gay to say that another man is nice looking, especially if they're a family member. I'm pretty sure he would never want to get with her brother. So he might just be saying that because he feels like he's family too. And like I said, it all depends on the conversation. You know what sucks? Sometimes in life, men do cover up their sexuality because of society. And I just feel like this, you have to be who you are, you know, like, just be happy you can't oh you can't please everyone and if 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 you're gay then just be gay be happy about the shit and be who you are and if the person or your family members really care for you as a family member or really love you as a person then they're gonna definitely accept you for your sexual preference i just really don't feel like gay men should have to cover things up like that or gay women like i don't feel like you should have to hide in a closet it's not right you know what i'm saying i just don't think it's right you know you should be able to love whoever you want to love and not have to hide that fact but honestly kelly i really think like jason is a very selfish individual and maybe you should tell him well i'll let you fuck me in my ass if i let you if you let me fuck you in your ass first okay 15 years is a long time to not marry somebody you know what they say the old saying is why why get why buy the cow why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free I'm okay. good. Y'all think about this whole situation. Tonight's dinner, which I'm about to go downstairs, is salmon, baked salmon with some asparagus and white rice. 
and BLTs. Like that, I know that shit don't go, but girl, listen, I, I haven't had a BLT in a long time. Anyway, make sure you check the links down below for Shop Miss A, because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to spend a dollar. Of course, some of the makeup is a dollar fifty-five. But psh, girl, a dollar? Where you getting a dollar makeup from? The Dollar Tree? And they makeup ain't even all that. But I love you all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Make sure y'all subscribe. Share the fucking video, okay? Share the video with your friends, especially. Share this video with Pornhub since they want to talk about animal sex. I'm just saying. I love you. Bye.